Hi everybody, I'm Mick Moninghoff. You know, you might remember the Senjin Naja. They moved to Wuhan at the end of the season. Now, J.W. Kenton is still the head coach of the top rushing team in the league, but he says they could still use some more muscle up front in the trenches. I'm real pleased, especially with my skill guys. Um, if you noticed, most of the time we'd go three wide receivers. We'd also run the ball, but the, the Chinese receivers were catching the touchdowns for us, so they're right where I want them. So we let a few of our big guys go, so we're always looking for size. Um, our, our best lineman, I think, is the best lineman in all China, and his name's Ox is what we call him, and we're looking for more guys like him. Now in the offseason, Wuhan released their top pick from last season, a defensive lineman, Feng Du. In all, they released four Americans and four Chinese players, including a quarterback. Tao Xu was the only Chinese quarterback to take a snap, and he scored on his only play from scrimmage. The quarterback is a marquee position, and it would be a big help to the league if one was ready to see action in year number two. Karen Smith was a teacher on the defensive side of the ball and led by example with two interceptions on the season but a back injury caused him to miss the final games. And to this day, injuries have forced him to miss some games with the Washington Valor in the AFL. But Christopher Lee was an excellent kickoff returner and actually had the first return for a touchdown in the history of the CAFL. But the nausea needed more offense from him. Lee finished with only four catches for 53 yards. Colin Madison was one of the best offensive linemen in the CAFL, helping the Naja to become the best running team in the league. He could catch the ball too, but he'll be missed. Here's how the Gators drafted in 2017. Bogey Ali was their first round pick, second overall. Kenton was impressed with Lee at the Austin, Texas Combine. He's a defensive end, 6'3", 235 with 4'6 speed. In the second round, an eighth overall selection, they took Zan Teng Du. In the third round, with the 14th pick, they selected Jen G. Jong, a running back by trade, but Kenton projects Jong at 6'3", 225 to play wide receiver or linebacker. Offensive lineman Deontay Savage was picked in the fourth round, 20th overall. He's one of the top offensive linemen from the AFL's Washington Valley. Good size at 6'5", and 330. Defensive lineman Monte Lewis was the choice in the fifth round, 26 pick. At 6'4 and 250, he comes in from the Tampa Bay Storm of the AFL, and what's not to look? In the sixth round, 32nd pick overall, Jared Evans, a defensive back and quarterback, the former University of Cincinnati Bearcat, has played with Green Bay in the IFL. And recently, they signed two more free agents, slot receiver Yixin Chen, who is 5'7", 165, and Ken Yang Shao a 5'10", 189-pound linebacker who is very aggressive with good speed. As always, for more information, check out our website at CAFLfootball.com.